basically what's going to happen is it's going to create a vacuum in the lower portion of the cell. Remember our VTEs are going to come up, it's going to fill the cell from the roof down. It's going to build a pressure on top and vacuum underneath. This is going to be a ventilated controlled fire, which basically means if we want the fire to get bigger, we almost have to set a fan down here and let it go. Um, I put some paper down here, which will be another indicator. What you'll see is the smoke's going to fill up. They'll start coming this way. You'll start seeing a huge amount of pressure coming out. It'll just blow out here. We stuck these here because I don't want to burn the roof off, so it's going to push the flames out a little bit. These are also, you're going to see, with, with the force coming out, it's going to push the fire out this way. It's going to come around and wrap up. We might lose this corner. I didn't think about that. Uh, but we'll start seeing the smoke come down. And then when you see that, once this fills up with smoke, you're going to start seeing the entrainment. The cool air is going to come in. What I'm hoping it'll do is it'll grab these papers and it'll actually show you how much vacuum this thing is. I put a water bottle in here. This is good to kind of give you an idea that this will melt down to where the water is and that'll be it. Unless the entrainment is, is uh, enough to push this thing over, which I don't think it will be, uh, we should, this will just go down to where the water level is. It's just another indicator to look at. Uh, these are going to be for our radiant heat. Okay, you're going to be able to see them melt and where the radiant heat is. Now know that this is going to be a lot cooler than if I had it up higher, right? Because our heat rises. And I'm hoping we'll get enough radiant heat to where we're going to start getting some of this melted uh, on this side. I'm not sure how this is going to work because we got it set off to the side. I know for sure it'll get hot. I don't think the whole thing's going to be consumed, but I definitely think we're going to get some good uh, melting on it. Now, with the amount of fire that you're going to see, your average person's going to think everything's burned no, up. No, no, again, so we're going to let this probably go to flashover, if not a little bit further. And you'll be amazed on how much is left. Okay? Do you guys have any questions at all? Ordinary combustibles, uh, no ignitable liquids, and then uh, these guys suppression through is basically just going to the other thing I want you guys to see is how little water it actually takes to put these little guys out. You know, we're in there and we're straight streaming it and we're just blowing water. It's ridiculous. All they got to do is have a big, nice, wide log. They'll open it, they'll close it, and all of a sudden it'll turn to steam and then the thing will just go out. The only thing that they'll have to work on a little bit is the couch. But then that's it. So we should be able to have everything intact. Okay? Any questions? Yeah? No. Oh, okay. Are you guys cool? All right, Donna, you're uh, in front of the camera there. No, I'm behind it. There's a GoPro on, there. on your car. Right here. Oh, there is a GoPro on there? On your, on your FJ. Oh. That's what he meant. Are you guys good? But some of it was. exactly where this fire is now starting to go, it's going to fill the same direction this fire is going to go. And it might make it easier for you to explain to a jury because they get the way water is going to flow. So consider that as you, as you watch the fire develop. All right, so if you guys can see it, our flames are probably about three feet high and they're in that wicker basket. The wicker basket has cardboard and some foam. Uh, we also have, I pulled a little uh, pillow to kind of get the fire from the wicker basket over to the couch. Uh, once that goes, it should go to the back. You've got some of the plastic, real light plastic stuff. That'll go as well. Uh, we should have a pretty good plume. We have the styrofoam swim tubey thing, whatever you call it. You'll start to see that. So as soon as that thing is nice, it'll start dripping, which is a great, a nice flammable liquid type 
uh, or ignitable liquid stuff, but it should trailer that. As it starts to burn, it should go up almost up to the ceiling. Okay, you guys kind of see that the smoke layer, right? Smoke layer is about to here. Okay, then it's going to slowly start banking down. And once it starts going, you're going to see there's going to be a lot of pressure. Look at the entrainment at the bottom. It's already starting to suck in a little bit. Okay, it's got the side of the couch on fire. So now, as that starts to hit, now see the velocity coming out here? It's starting to build that pressure on the upper upper layer of your uh, burn cell. Underneath, see how it's sucking the paper in? That's your entrainment. It's going to get a lot more effective as the fire starts to build. Right now, it's, it's fuel driven. We're not really, the ventilation, we've got plenty of oxygen. It's not really doing a whole lot ventilation wise. The ceiling might be eight, nine hundred, maybe a thousand degrees, but the floor is still going to be about sixty or seventy degrees. We don't have any radiant heat outside at the floor level yet. Help me fire. Down eight. Okay, it looks like it's gone about halfway across the couch. That we have burn operations at station one through here, the smoke in the area. That will you see the velocity off. starting to go a little bit more, right? So that those BTs are getting built up, and now it's starting to force it, which is causing it to be pushed out of that doorway. We have some radiant heat, the top boards are starting to catch fire. Just that's the, the heat coming straight out. We're gonna start seeing as this thick black smoke starts coming. The flames will actually ignite the smoke, and you're going to have flames that are going to shoot out pretty good. Look at the entrainment. See how that air is going in at the base of the fire, and it's feeding it, and it's actually pushing the flames back towards the base. All right. Or, or I wanted it. So now we've got the smoke that's heating up. We've gotten the flash over, right? So we're going to give it a little bit more. But you can see how the air is getting forced underneath, right? It's pushing the flames back. It's hitting that back wall. It's going them up the back wall. You're going to see where it hits the ceiling pretty hard. Whoa, oh my God, that's a cap. All right. It's hitting the protection. ceiling pretty hard. You guys should have a pretty good. Whoops, that's she rock. All right, go ahead, guys. So I lied to my guys, we didn't let it go long enough to hit that, that chair out in front. If that fire would keep going in another couple of minutes, you start seeing the offset of that chair outside would definitely start to go. You know the white smoke, that's all you see. If we were to squirt that in there, and you know they're docking now, kind of put something over the doorway, that steam will actually put the fire out. That's all it really takes. That's an 8x12 bedroom room. You can get an idea, your 10x10 or 12x12 